My name is Patricia, I'm the Chair of BRAS, which is Befriending Refugees and Asylum Seekers, and our project's housed in the Victoria Mission here in Bolton. So I'd like to welcome you, and why don't you come in with me and have a look at some of the stuff we do here. I think the best way to describe BRAS is our mission statement, which is from immigration to integration. Uh, and I think at this point, um, we also want to try and dispel the myths that pertain to asylum seekers and refugees. Uh, these people are not economic migrants. They've not come here to improve their wages. They are here because they're fleeing persecution in their countries of origin. Uh, they've left relatives behind, they've lost family members, they've experienced torture, they've experienced rape. They don't want to be here. They want to be in their own country, as we all would want to be. They arrive here, they don't speak English, they're frightened of the police, they're frightened of their neighbours, they don't know what to do and we hope that we can provide somewhere where they can come and get not only advice on immigration issues, housing issues, medical, passport, all that sort of stuff, but to provide them somewhere where they can get some um, comfort I suppose and basically have a nice time and I think that has been totally supported by the art installation that Adrian Barb has been doing for us, which is a fantastic piece of work in and of itself. I absolutely love it. And the users of our service have just joined in so enthusiastically. It's been wonderful to see. We were going to learn something about the art of the art. We were going to learn something about the art of the art. We were going to learn something about the art. كبيرة يعني كانوا يتعلموا أولادي هناك وبعدين تقدم تقدم الرسام آدرين وتحدث أكثر ورسم وساوى مجموعة كبيرة كثير ورسم هاي الصورة الحلوة كثير اللي بتضمن بتضمن الأعلام والأعلام البلدان كلها المسيحية والدينية وهذا شعار بولتون وفي هذا اللي هنا شعار بولتون فيها ألوان كثير حلوة ساعدونا اول حاجه في تعليم اللغه الانجليزيه بالنسبه لنا وبالنسبه لاولادنا وساعد اولادنا في تعليم في تعليم الرسم وتعلم انه كيف يرسم وكيف يستخدم الالوان المائيه في هاي الرسمة كتير كتير حلوة جميلة كتير يعني واللي رسمها دقة عالية وحلوة كتير. I'm very surprised when I see this picture because this the mix color and light is very good, very good. I think this the Adrian is very nice artist man. The whole consultation uh, process, uh, which has led to this fan and uh, mural, has been uh, very, very interesting. Uh, we had um, consultation with one-to-one uh, -one with users. Some of them have brought their children in. So a lot of activities has gone around this uh, living mural. So now we have a final product, I think, and ready to launch it. We're looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be a legacy which will stay for, for quite some years. When the mural came to life for the first time, um, everyone was surprised about it. We never seen something like that before in Africa or the Middle East. It's really so beautiful piece of art, and uh, everyone see that I want to see again and again. So amazing, yeah, really, really beautiful. وانا مثل ما عم يقول كمان انه اجينا لهون ما بنعرف شيء واستفدنا كثير منه انه كنا خجلانين كمان هن خلونا يعني انه نفرح ونتساعد هون معاهم باي شغله مع الرسم كمان خلى اولادي كمان كثير يرسموا ويتمتعوا بالرسم واستفدنا بامور كثير ساعدونا فيها The practical stuff we do is we run English classes, we do women only services, we have a sewing group, we have table tennis, we've got um, snooker, is it called snooker? Yeah, we've got chess, we've got a math club, we've got a job club, 
we've got uh, internet cafe, we've got conversation cafes, and all this is working towards people getting citizenship here and um, find themselves a home and making them welcome.